Okay, in this video, we will learn how to uh, find probabilities using the Poisson distribution. So for the Poisson distribution, I will assume that you uh, understand the properties of the Poisson and you know that the question uh, will use the Poisson distribution and I will show you how to enter the formula on your Casio calculator. So the first thing you do is you need to enter the summation notation here. So you do shift and uh, click this, you get the sum. And then immediately after this, inside the parentheses, you put a fraction, this button here. Click the fraction, and then in the denominator of the fraction, um, that's the easier part of the fraction, put x factorial. So x, you get it here, so you have to click alpha, then this button, so you get x, and the factorial notation is here this one on top of the of this button so you do shift and you click here so now you have x factorial in the denominator now in the numerator uh, open parentheses and raise them to the power x so the x is here again so you do alpha then click here you get x times now you want to put e uh, this is euler's number which is around 2.71828 but in your calculator, they have it already here. So you do shift and you click here. So you get E to the power and this power immediately put minus and then open parentheses. Once you have done this, your formula now is ready uh, to solve questions. So now you read the question and let's say you found that the average number of occurrences or the mean number of occurrences in the unit uh, of time or per unit uh, volume or area uh, is equal to a specific value. So let's say, um, I will give you just one example. Let's say that um, a teacher receives uh, three questions uh, per class uh, from students and uh, on average, yeah? So he will put here three and on top here, he will put three. That is mu or the, the mean number of occurrences. Uh, so then let's say that the question is find the probability that the teacher will get exactly two questions in uh, his next hour. So you will put X from two up to two and then you click equal sign. And so this is telling you that the teacher expects um, on a, with a probability of 22% that he will get two questions uh, for that hour. Uh, but let's say, for example, that um, he wants to check uh, what's the probability that he will get exactly three questions. So you delete the two and put instead of it three. Because the average is three, you expect this probability to be uh, the highest one of them because X here is the same as the average that, we're, uh, that we ca calculated at the beginning. So this equals, you see, it's 22.4%. When you are very close to the mean, you expect, if X, I mean, is close to the mean, you expect that the probability will be uh, the highest out of the ones that you calculate. Now, let's say that um, you wanted to uh, find the probability that uh, the teacher receives no questions. No questions means, so first let's delete both of these, and no questions means zero questions, so from zero to zero. This is the probability that the teacher will receive no questions. Remember that X measures the number of questions received per uh, the hour. And so you hit equal. And so he has about, you know, if you put this to two digits, it has about 5% chance of not getting any questions during his lecture. Uh, another uh, question could be, what's the probability that he will get at most three questions? What does it mean at most three? At most three means um, three or less. And X always starts from zero. No questions up to three questions. And of course, we will expect this to be a high probability. So let's see what it will be. Yeah, 65% would be the probability that he gets uh, at most three questions. Notice one thing about, um, uh, about uh, the Poisson distribution is that as x increases, so let's keep x starting from zero, and let's say that he wants to check what's the probability that he gets 10 questions at most. So you'll put 10 here, and look what happens now. 
you'll get almost uh, one. Uh, in um, Poisson distribution, the, um, there is no upper limit to x. So x can go all the way from zero to infinity. But what's nice about it is that uh, once you reach a high point, like let's say if you go to 20, for example, once you reach a very high point and you click, you'll get one because your calculator um, computes a certain number of digits and it approximates and it will give you one for um, a high number for uh, X. Um, but in general, if someone asks you, let's say uh, first we will delete this and delete the zero and let's answer this question now. Pay attention to this one. What is the probability that the teacher will receive at least two questions per the hour? So at least two questions means from two and on. So, but the problem is, where do we stop? Uh, we really don't know. It all depends really, uh, this goes to infinity, but if you want to get one, like I showed you before, you start from zero and then you might need to end at 20 or at 30, um, to, to, uh, depending on your calculator precision and so on. So instead of putting, let's say you put from two and you stop at 20, let's just say that. And please remember this uh, answer, 80% approximately. Uh, but to be accurate, uh, what uh, I would suggest you do is to find the probability that you will get at least two questions. What you will do is you will uh, find the complement of having at most one. So you'll go zero to one for X and you subtract this uh, from one. So we will go back and uh, do one minus this. You look at this, this one minus the probability of at most one question. This is the same as saying, what is the probability of at least two questions? And so if you click, Notice that it's the same number that we got when we put 2 to 20. But the problem is um, your calculator might not be able to calculate uh, above a certain factorial for x. You can check this calculator specifically cannot compute more than 69 factorial. That's the maximum it can do. And so this is why for problems that tell you at least uh, a number or if you want to go from x equal, let's say, 2 or 3 up to uh, indefinitely up, Better to do one minus and do the complement. This is very important that you do. Uh, so, for example, what's the probability that X is at least uh, three? So the probability that the teacher gets at least three questions. Instead of putting from three to infinity, you put one minus the probability that he will get at most two questions. And that is uh, the complement of what I asked. And so you will get... Uh, about 58% if you do it to two digits, that the teacher will get uh, at least three questions. So uh, this is with Poisson distribution. Whenever you want to com uh, compute uh, the probability that X goes from a value and keeps on going up indefinitely, it's better to do the complement, one minus the sum up to the value that is before your value of at least. Um, let's just uh, do one more thing just for you to understand it perfectly. Let's say that uh, you're counting uh, the number of uh, typos in a textbook or um, you count the number of phone calls that a company receives per 15 minutes or per hour, the number of customers at a bank per half an hour, whatever. And if you know the average number, so uh, let's here say, let's say that the average number of uh, typos or typogra typographies uh, in a textbook is five uh, typos per page. So we will put here five and here we will put five. And then you open the book on a random page and you want to find what is the probability that uh, I have, let's say, exactly uh, four typos on, on that page. So I will put four to four. And so the probability is about 17.5% that I will get exactly four um, typos. What is the probability that I will get exactly five typos? The probability of exactly five will be 17.5 uh, also. What about the probability that you'll get at most uh, three typos? At most three typos. So first let's delete. 
when I say at most to three, it means zero up to three. So this is the probability that you'll get zero or one or two or three typos equal about 26.5%. One more, what is the probability that you will get at least, uh, let's say at least four, uh, three typos, let's say. What's the probability that you'll get at least three typos? This means that you want the uh, x equal three or four or five or six, but because x goes to infinity, remember I told you, uh, best thing is to put one minus, okay, so you put one minus, and then the complement. What's the complement to at least three typos? At most two. At most two is zero, two, two. And you hit equal. This will tell you you have about an 87.5% chance of getting three or more typos uh, per page, uh, the page that you opened on, the random page that you chose. I hope that uh, this uh, video helped you understand Poisson distribution and how to use the calculator for it better.